Hi, welcome to Politics India. Over 35,000 of farmers from across the state of Maharashtra embarked on a long march all the way from Nasik to Bombay to channel their demands. Unmindful of the scorching heat, they have covered 180 kilometers on foot over six days. For those farmers who are struggling to cope up with the agrarian crisis and natural calamities, demand a pension scheme for farmers above the age of 60, an unconditional waiver of loans and electricity bills, implementation of Swaminathan Commission recommendation, including announcement of minimum support price for the agriculture produce, monetary compensation of 40,000 rupees per acre for damaged crop due to the unseasonal rain and last month's hailstorm. Transfer of forest lands that they have been telling for so long was another demand put forward by these farmers. The Fadnavis led BJP government in the state of Maharashtra dispersed the whole protest in half an hour, saying that this can be done in six months and requested for six months of time to resolve all the farmer issues. If it could have been done in six months, why didn't they do it before? Even though Narendra Modi government at the centre has set a target of doubling farmers' income by 2022, the agricultural growth rates have been unsteady in the recent past. And in India, 70% of its people are directly or indirectly dependent on agriculture. 12,000 farmers commit suicide every year in India. And Maharashtra has the highest farmer suicide rates among all other Indian states. Between 2009 and 2016, 23,000 of farmers committed suicide in the state of Maharashtra itself. In June last year, Maharashtra farmers went on a historic strike for 11 days. Neither the central government nor the state government paid attention to their plight. Nothing has been done as they have promised in their election manifesto. If Maharashtra government can spend 4,000 crores of rupees to build the statue of Shivaji, why they are not looking into the matters of farmers? Why do farmers have to show up and protest for their basic rights? Do our farmers have to cry and bleed all the time for help? Is this truly the India of Jai Jawan Jai Kisan?